Hey friends, welcome back to Grace Kids Online. Today we're going to start off with a fun song, so jump up, grab your family, and let's have fun! that Jesus' power calms our worries. Now, before we dive into our lesson, here is what you'll need for today's experience. You'll need a few pieces of paper. It doesn't have to be fancy. In fact, you could just use the back of scrap paper. Just make sure that everybody in your family has a few pieces. You'll need something to write or draw with. And, a little bit later in the lesson, you'll need a bowl of water, some black pepper, and some dish soap. I put my dish soap in a small container 
That way I won't use too much of it all at once. Well, this is everything that you'll need. I'll leave them out on the table here and we, you can pause the video and that way you can refer to it when you go to gather your supplies. The world sure seems really worried. Worried about the coronavirus, worried about jobs, so many things. I'm curious, friends, what worries are you hearing about right now? Maybe you aren't hearing about worries, and that's okay. Think about a worry that maybe you've had in the past. It could be a big test or a big game. Just think about a worry. Did you know that it can be helpful to draw or write your worries down? It helps you process them. So let's do that now. On your paper, write or draw a worry that you have now or worries you remember feeling in the past. You are going to write one worry on each piece of paper. And really, you can make a whole bunch of them because we're going to use them later. So pause the video while you do this. Ready? Three, two, one, pause. All done? Now talk about this. What do you usually do when you get worried? For me, when I get worried, it usually helps me to take a big, deep breath. Kind of like this. Sometimes when I take a deep breath, I like to make my lips do something funny, like this. Do you want to try that? Take a deep breath and then let it out. Ha, ah, that's pretty fun, right? Just taking that deep breath and that pause really helps me when I worry. What about you? Pause the video again and you're going to talk about what you do when you worry. And as you talk, crumple up those pieces of paper that you wrote on. You'll need them in a few minutes. So crumple them all up. Are you ready? Tell your family, what do you usually do when you worry? There was a guy in the Bible who trusted Jesus, but then he started to worry and things didn't go so well. If you want to follow along in your Bible, look up Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. So the story goes like this. Jesus' friends were in a boat. Jesus had just fed a whole bunch of people, and he needed a little me time. So Jesus told his friends to get in a boat and go across the lake. He, Jesus, was going to stay back and pray. So his friends hopped in the boat and started out across the lake. Well, sometimes when you are in a boat, it kind of rocks back and forth like this. Can you rock back and forth like this? Pretend you're in a boat with Jesus' friends. Oh, it's getting a little chilly. The wind sure picked up and the waves got bigger and bigger. Whew! Jesus' friends were in trouble. The boat was rocking back and forth, harder and harder. Can you do that with me? It was like the wind was howling. Wait, that's kind of like a dog howls. Nah, it doesn't matter. You can howl with me. Oh! <sighs> the boat was rocking back and forth, and they were really worried. And then, to make matters worse, Jesus' friends saw something coming towards them on the water. <gasps> it was somebody walking. It looked like a ghost. They were really afraid. Can you make your most surprised face and be like, ah, something's walking on the water coming towards us. As it got closer, they saw that it was Jesus. Jesus told them, hey, it's me guys. Don't be afraid. Peter said, Lord, 
If it's really you, tell me to come on the water and walk with you. So Peter got out of the boat. And he stood on the water with Jesus. Now, we're going to stop right there. And I need you all to do something. Pick one of you right now to pretend to be Peter. Got it? Okay, Peter, stand up. Look across the room. We're going to pretend that where you're looking is where Jesus is waiting for you. You're going to step out of the boat, so take a step up and over, and stand on the water. Now, take a step toward Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. And another step. Okay. Everyone else, as Peter walks, throw all your paper worries at him. And some pillows, too. Pause the video while you give everyone a chance to be Peter. Ready? In three, two, one, pause. Well, that's like what happened to Peter. He looked around at the wind and the waves, and he got worried that he was going to drown. He took his eyes off of Jesus, and the worry started distracting him. Once Peter took his eyes off Jesus and paid more attention to the worries than to Jesus, he sank like a rock. But Jesus grabbed Peter by the arm and saved him. Here's a few questions for you to talk about. Out of all the things you could be worried about, what's the one you worry about most? And how is that distracting you from Jesus? Hit the pause button while you and your family talk about that. Thanks for sharing. If your worries sometimes distract you from Jesus, you're just like Peter. But you can learn the same lesson that he did. Jesus' power calms our worries. Let's try a fun experiment that shows how Jesus' power can calm our worries. You'll need those things we talked about before, the bowl of water, the pepper, and some sort of dish soap. So if you don't have them yet, pause the video now, go get them, and come back. We're back. I'll show you what to do, and then you try it too. First. Look at your bowl of water. It's clear and clean. But then worries start sprinkling in. A few worries and then a few more. And pretty soon, worries are all we see. Hey, this pepper reminds me of all the waves Peter saw on the water. We have a lot of worries coming at us right now. So how can we make those worries run away from us? You can try to clear them out on your own, but look what happens. They just kind of stick to your finger. So instead, wipe off your finger and then put some dish soap on it. That's like keeping your eyes on Jesus. Then put your finger back in your worries. Jesus doesn't just have power over wind and waves, he has power over our worries too. When we keep our eyes on Jesus, our worries stop bombarding us. Jesus' power calms our worries. What would help you keep your eyes on Jesus during this worrying time? Hit the pause button and talk about that with your family. Jesus' power can calm our worries if we keep our eyes on him. Do this. Take someone's hand and pray for that person by name to keep their eyes on Jesus during this season of worry. Pause the video and do that now. Awesome prayers. Now, when this video ends, you can draw a boat. Maybe something that looks like this. Or on it, write the name of a person or two that you will pray for. Hang it on your refrigerator or somewhere where you will see it every day. 
Now, remember to pray for these people. Ask Jesus to calm their worries just like he calmed the waves. And thank him for calming your worries too. <laughs>